G'day, welcome to the Tech Math Channel. What we're going to be having a look at in today's video is how to factorise quadratic equations really simply, really easily. So I'll put an example up for you. So the equation we're going to have a look at is this one. 2x squared plus 7x take away 4 is equal to 0. Now, how do we tackle this one? Really simple. We are just going to look at the coefficients, that is the numbers in front of our x squared or our x here, as well as this uh, constant here, this negative 4, to get our answer. So we're just going to label these. We've got a, which is the 2, we've got b, which is the 7, and c, which is our negative 4. And it's going to be the same pattern again and again, whenever you solve any of these. Uh, okay, so the first thing we do after we do that is we just go a times c, this first number times the last number. Uh, 2 times negative 4, 2 times negative 4 is equal to negative 8. And we're just going to use this middle coefficient here for our next part, which is b. b is equal to 7. Now what? Well, we're going to look for two numbers, two factors of negative 8, that when you multiply them, give negative 8, that would make the factors of negative 8, but when you add them, give a 7. So two numbers that you multiply to give negative 8, but add to give 7 here. The factors of negative 8 that add to give 7 are the following. We have 8 and negative 1, okay? Because when we multiply 8 times negative 1, we get negative 8, but when we get 8 and negative 1 and put them together, we get 8 minus 1, which is 7. Now what? Well, pretty simple. We are just going to change the signs on these. What I mean by that is all things negative will become positive and all things positive will become negative. Negative 8 and positive 1. Just flip those around. Last of all, we're just going to put this over the coefficient a here. Okay, the very first one here. Divided by 2, divided by 2. And this gives us our two values for x. What x could equal? x could be equal to negative 8 over 2. So negative 8 divided by 2 is negative 4, or x could be also equal to positive 1 over 2, which is a half. Pretty simple, right? Just remember that pattern, okay? Let's have a look at another one. The next one we'll have is 2x squared minus 2x uh, minus 12 is equal to 0. You give it a fly. Okay, we have a B, C. We're going to multiply A times C. This is equal to 2 times minus 12, which is minus 24. B is equal to negative 2. What numbers multiply to give negative 24, but then you can put together to get negative 2? 4 and minus 6. Again, because if you multiply 4 and minus 6, you get negative 24. But if you go 4, take away 6, you get negative 2. So what do we do? We are going to flip the symbols here. Everything negative becomes positive and everything positive becomes negative. We have negative 4 and positive 6 and we are going to put these over. You got it. This coefficient here over 2. And these are going to be our two solutions. x is going to be equal to, to solve this, minus 4 divided by 2, which is negative 2, or 6 divided by 2, which is 3. Okay, how'd you go with that? Let's make it even harder. All right, minus 10x squared plus 13x plus 3 is equal to 0. Give this one a go. I'll give you a little uh, heads up. There's a bit of a trick with this one, okay? Just be careful of your factors. All right, so A, B, and C. Hit pause if you got to, okay? Uh, let's just go. A times C, which is equal to nine, minus 10 times 3, which is negative 30 and b is equal to 13. Now, like I said, there's a bit of a trick with the factors here, because you might look at it and think, okay, well, 10 and 3, because, you know, 10 and 3 can be used to get 13, but they're not indeed our factors, okay? Uh, because because it's going to go to a negative, it either has to be 10 and negative 3, or negative 10 and 3, you can't put those together to get 13. In fact, our factors are the following. Our factors are going to be 15 and negative 2 because we multiply these to get 30, and we put 15 take away 2 is 13, so there are two factors. Once again, black becomes white and white becomes black, negative becomes positive, day becomes night, uh, negative 15, positive 2, and we put those over the coefficient to be able to see what x is equal to. The coefficient is negative 10, negative 10. 
Okay, so negative 15 divided by negative 10, x could be equal to, okay, that's going to cancel each other out. 15 divided by 10 is 1 and a half. 2 divided by minus 10, we've got a negative 1 fifth. How did you go with that? I tell you what, we'll get a doozy for the last one. Here we go, 6x squared, take away x, take away 2, is equal to 0. Solve for x, eh? Now, this is going to be as easy as, you know where I'm going with this, a, b, c. a times c is equal to minus 12. b is going to be equal to negative 1. What two numbers multiply to give negative 12, but you put together, you add together to get negative 1, hey, you got it. I reckon you're getting a 4 and a 3 somewhere there, but is it a negative 4 and a positive 3, or a negative 3 and a positive 4? Okay, it's going to be a negative 4 and a positive 3, because these multiply to give negative 12, but 3 take away 4 is negative 1. Okay, so we flip the uh, these two numbers here, so it becomes 4 and negative 3, and we put them over this coefficient of 6. 6 of 6, so x could be equal to what? x could be equal to 2 thirds, that simplifies out in 2 thirds, or x could be equal to negative 1 half. Alright, so that's a really simple way of doing that. Tell us what you think of this. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video, hopefully it was, uh, well, hopefully it was informative. Anyway, thanks for watching, see you next time, bye.